I'm here in the fan zone in Budapest outside the Pap Laszlo Sports Arena. To our side we've got the Museum of Sport here in Budapest. As always, on the final day of the tournament, the GB Supporters Club and all the fans across from GB meet up with the players. They have a chat, they have some presentations. The player of the tournament is nominated by the GB Supporters Club. In third place was Ben Davis. Second place, Stephen Murphy. And the player of the tournament by the GB Supporters Club was the Brayhead clan forward, Robert Fox. All the boys are mingling behind with the crowd. There were some nice presentations as well. One for our tour guide, Gabor, richly deserved. There were some mementos for reaching milestone caps. And also a presentation by the GB management to Greg Owen. Of course, he retires from ice hockey now. He's finished. He played his final game at any level today, and I caught up with him. Greg, it wasn't the best way to end for you, but I want to start with the positives. How do you look back on the uh, career for you? Um, with difficulty really I get a bit chucked up doing that but um, yeah there's just so many memories I mean going back when I first represented GB when I was when I was, I was under 14s and you know coming all the way through the system and you know I've had a I've got no complaints about the career that I've had um, some people might you know think that I could keep going but it just feels like the, the right time to, to end it and and it's, it feels fitting to end it in a GB jersey, regardless of the result that we had today. It feels right to, to, to end it re representing my country. Did you always want to be a hockey player from two, three, four, five years old? Um, it wasn't until I was uh, nine that I uh, went to watch my first game. And I don't remember it, but my, my, my dad remembers after the game, walking out of the rink, I said to him, I said, I want to be a hockey player. Um, and, uh, you know, all credit to my parents, they've, they've provided every every platform for me to, to be able to do that and um, yeah, yeah so it started as soon as I saw a game. What's been the highlight? You won a silver medal, a bronze medal with GB, you won trophies with Coventry, I think Bracknell, Milton Keynes, is, is it something that can stand out for you? Yeah I mean all, all the things you win you know are the ones that stand out because they're the, the ones that you, you feel like you put the most into and you, you get a reward at the end of it. Um, it's, it's hard to you know it's hard to pick out anything but yeah I mean a couple of years ago when we when we got the silver medal we were so close to going up um, that was probably my my proudest GB moment I suppose um, but I mean it's every time I put on the jersey it's you know win or lose it's, it's been a, it's been an honor what's been the, the biggest influences behind your career um, I mean, you know, I, my parents, you know, they've, they've been there from the very beginning and they've never told me I couldn't. Um, and then they've only ever told me that I could. Um, and, you know, it hasn't been easy. You know, there's been times when I've, I've wanted to stop or, the, you know, it was a bit too tough or you don't get picked for a team or um, but they've, you know, they've encouraged me the whole time. Um, and I guess that would be the biggest influence. I mean, and there's been a lot of coaches along the way that have had their influence on me and I've learned from but you know my family have just been the, the foundation the whole way through and we'll see maybe more of Greg Owen you're into web design just tell us finally a bit about that yeah yeah if you need a website <laughs> <laughs> call his number yeah uh, no yeah well I've been doing that I, I, I got injured uh, sort of earlier in my career um, just after my first daughter was born and I, I knew at that point that I needed to, to start sorting out a life after hockey and um, that would have been my next um, choice of, of occupation. So, yeah, I've been doing that, and now it's time to focus more on that. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm really hoping that, you know, this isn't the end of hockey for me. You know, I, I really want to be a part of getting GB to the next level. Um, however, that happens, I don't know. But um, yeah, there's, there's still a passion there for, for, for GB hockey, and you know, providing a platform for younger players that you know, giving them opportunities that perhaps. I've not yet been able to have, but yeah. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure watching you play. Thank you. And uh, congratulations on your retirement and all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Well, that's it for 2013 and GB at the World Championships. 
I'm sorry to say, and it breaks my heart to say that GB have been relegated after their defeat by Korea today, 4-1. They go down to 1B, but there's plenty of optimism in the air. And as Tony Hand has said, this side will bounce back and bounce back strong as well. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You've given us some great hits across the last few days here in Budapest. It's been a pleasure to be with you. I'd like to thank Dave Burnham as well behind the camera and our editor extraordinaire. And thanks to all the players and the coaching staff for GB and the management who have taken part and so readily helping us with what we need to do. But for now, it's farewell.